Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make this fun and very easy little kind of concertina aperture card. This is a six by six size and I've used these beautiful bag puss images. Make a wish. It's a nice birthday card, but this style will work great for any occasion, any colours, any papers. Like most of the cards that I share, you've got space on the back there to be able to write your message. And this one all folds down into a six by six size. And then when it's displayed, depending on how far out you pull it, but the idea is, is it's displayed like so and then you get to see all that depth and all the different characters so let's get started and i'll show you how to make it so this is the six by six bag puss paper pad it's really cute i love the colors in this one bright pinks bright greens and then you've got cute little characters that you can cut out as well there's four designs and two topper sheets and you get four of each of those so there's plenty in there and then you've got the ephemera pack there as well so i've got here a mix of dyes. So I've taken the inverted scallops. I'll give you the measurements in a moment from Creative Craft Products. But I wanted just a slightly bigger plain circle. So I've just taken this from an old tonic one. This is Seamlessly Beautiful Crystal. Um, again, I'll give you the measurements to the circles, but that's what I'm using. Some of you do have some of the same products that I do. So this is going to fold down to just slightly under six by six. This is a piece of 11 and a half by five and three quarter. Along the 11 and a half side, you're going to score at five and three quarters. Okay, so fold that in half. And then we've got our card blank. And I've already popped pattern paper on here, but I'll explain where to put that in a moment. I've then cut this piece, which is six and a quarter by five and three quarters. And along the six and a quarter side, you're going to score again at five and three quarters. So we've just made a little half inch tab. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit of cutting already. And what's going to happen is this is going to attach onto this one and stick behind there. So it looks like one long piece. So I've cut myself three pieces of five and a half squared pattern paper. And you want to stick. So this is your card, just normal card fold. You want to stick a piece on the front and then on inside and then one on the front of this piece here. So that's going to be the front of the card. Then we're going to cut into this striped piece and then you're going to see this on the inside. And that's where I think I'm going to want to stamp my sentiment. So stick the pattern paper down first and then I've taken the, the one that's closest to four and a quarter diameter. Position that in the middle of the card and then cut that out. OK, so that's already cut through. Then fold this piece around the edge there. I'm going to open it up like so. So just that's folded right around that side and make sure the top and bottom is really straight because you want this to all line up perfectly when we fold it flat. I'm then going to take the die again and just pop it back into its kind of home. It will lock itself back in and I'm going to tape that in place. So now I'm going to run that through my machine, but don't worry if it doesn't cut all the way through. OK, so now if I take this one off. Like so it hasn't cut all the way through, but it's left me a really good impression on the card. So now I can position this again back on and you should be able to lock it into place like so. And then take that down and now run it through again. OK, and now that's cut through perfectly. And then when I go to pop that back on. You'll see it perfectly lines up. But when it opens, you'll then get to see all the different pattern papers. So that's how it's going to kind of be displayed. So now we can stick this one down. I'm just going to snip a little bit off the edges here. Now, if you want, you could pop acetate behind these pieces. You could turn them into shakers and have sequins and stuff encased. So there's lots of ways to add more to this over the top and just fold it back over whilst it's drying and just ensure that that does all line up. I've then cut myself these rings and that's where I've taken the original one here which was about four and a quarter and then this larger one here. I just wanted one that was going to give a nice frame around this. So again completely optional but this one here is five and one eighth, five and a quarter and I just pop that one inside, taped them together so you've got a nice equal frame, like so. And then cut it twice so you've got two frames in whatever colour you want. 
So I've cut both of my frames and on one of them I've just stuck these little adhesive dots into each of the little areas there. I just thought it looked quite sweet. So I'm going to stick that one on the front and then the other one is going to go around that one. Okay, so give it all a good burnish on those folds like so. And there we've got that little concertina style. And then what I want to do is heat emboss the sentiment Make-A-Wish. So it's from this set here, the All Occasions Combo Sentiments from Creative Craft Products. But I want to position the Make-A-Wish there. I mean, I'd probably do this before you stick it onto the card, but it, it will still be okay. And then from the Ephemera pack, I've got these ones here. And the idea was to have him at the very front and then behind... The next ring, I was going to have him there, or maybe if I bring that down a little bit, yeah, maybe have it more there. I could have him kind of there. That looks good. Yeah, and then maybe him down there. So that's the finished card. So that's how it will look when it's displayed, kind of pulled out like that. And you can see all the different cats. I think it's really fun. I love this one. And then on the back, I've just added a piece of five and a half squared in the teal and then five and a quarter squared in the white, just so I've got somewhere else to write the message. I mean, depending on the size of your circle or shape that you've cut into this and what you've got decorating, you could maybe have, you know, this area to write your message. But I think it's lovely, really fun. So that all folds down, fit in a six by six envelope. Obviously there's a bit of dimension there, so you might want to pop it in a box envelope. I will have all the product that I've used linked in the description box below. If you've enjoyed today, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. It really does help me out. And I'll be back again very soon with more tutorials. Take care, bye.